Mike Cass once used his drone to track the whereabouts of a clown on the loose in his hometown of Carlsbad, California. First, he finds someone who may or may not have been in a clown outfit, wandering around this blown out building. It's somewhat difficult to tell from this distance, but I think they could be wearing one. Mike eventually finds this building, but no one's there, yet it looks like a strange man could have been behind him all along. Mike doesn't find another trace of them for almost a full year. Then one random flight session, it's back. Yeah, so basically, um... And once again, the hunt is on. This clown has been surprisingly good at hiding in the past, but Mike's drone sees it all. Four days later, it finds itself cornered. I'm surprised Mike was able to see it, because I think it blended in well and looked like an animal at first. Yo, what is that? Uh, probably nothing. Yo, what the heck? Yo, oh my god, look at this. With its bright red hair, I was wondering how this clown was able to hide it all. But when it lays down, it seems to only show black parts of its outfit. This would actually be impossible to see if you were on the ground, especially if you weren't looking. Walking by a clown lying in wait is not something I want to think about for long. Mike Cass chases it into the woods until power lines force him to back off. After being chased like that, the clown must have picked other places to stay because it was never seen or heard from again. A YouTuber named Mikey Mams became fascinated with the legends of Clinton Road, a haunted place in New Jersey where everything from psychos to phantom trucks are said to chase people and sometimes even end lives. After an unsuccessful night of ghost hunting, Mikey Mavs decides to pilot his drone down the road during the daytime, figuring that the noise would attract the attention of whatever's out there. Sure enough, this odd fellow is walking down Clinton Road. It almost connects with the drone before Mikey flies out of range, at which point the clown takes off. Aside from the bright wig, their outfit blends in with the scenery surprisingly well and they easily manage to slip away, knowing exactly where to hide. It's impossible to see where it is until it steps out for an ambush at the time of its choosing, a tactic I'm sure it's tried on countless people before. Mikey manages to avoid another rock, and the clown, realizing it's been outsmarted, decides to run again. It seems like it's been caught for sure, but then it does something that gives Clinton Road its supernatural reputation. Where'd you go? It seemingly disappears. Is one of America's greatest presidents still roaming the earth? YouTuber Soul Searching thinks so. She visited President Lincoln's tomb at the Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois. The place is said to be haunted. Let's see if it is. Right away, Shannon gets a response to her inquiries. Walk up to me. Oh, I heard a noise. Was that you, Mr. Lincoln? I heard a noise. When she asks the spirit to knock... Can you knock on this? There we go. It answers a moment later... Unless there's construction going on inside the tomb, I don't know what would explain the knocking in response. My thoughts are that Lincoln's spirit remains here. This person's spirit didn't stay in the ground. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in January of 2022, this ghost hunter was walking along a road near an old graveyard at night when he spotted this. The ghostly figure could, of course, be a statue. It does seem to be standing abnormally still at first, then it clearly starts to move. It 
Its long robe flows behind it as it strides forward. The cameraman comes closer and finds it kneeling before a grave, praying. When it turns to look at him, he shoots off like a light, running as fast as he can before his lights are out forever. Definitely the right call. A YouTuber named Sean Daywood is playing outside with his younger friend Ryan when a stranger comes out of the woods and instead of ordering them off of her property, she demands they come closer to her. Here she holds onto Ryan's arm and pulls him in when he tries to resist her grip. A much larger man comes out of the woods and backs up his wife. Then the woman turns around and simply says come on as if she expects Sean to follow. When he says no, she makes it clear that she will take him by force. What do you mean no? You want me to fight you? Sean tries to assert his right to leave, and she tells him that he is basically being held against his will. We're leaving right now. Come on, Ryan. He's not leaving. When she gets within grabbing distance, Sean feels completely overwhelmed, and he and Ryan run. Who even knows what these adults were up to, or if they were even the property owners in the first place? For all we know, they could have been random strangers looking to do who knows what in the middle of the woods. When you're babysitting, sometimes you feel like someone may be in the house, watching you. This TikTok video will have you double checking that all your doors are locked. The dude in the video, TikTok handle Tanner J. Shelton, claims that he just put the kids that he's babysitting down for the night when he heard laughter. It was 10.30 p.m. At first he was annoyed, as it was the third time he had to tell the kids to get to bed. As the noises were coming from the baby's room, he assumed the other kids had woken up to check on their sister. So he checked the baby monitor and he saw this. What is that in the top left corner? Looks like a hand reaching in the baby's crib. Redditor MXGIWiz writes on Reddit, After this video, the infant was kidnapped apparently. His caption was, I'm never babysitting again. Though I think it would be on the news if that happened, and this man would certainly be a suspect, but that doesn't stop people from hypothesizing. Redditor mmocker 98 adds some intrigue to this story, recounting that there's an even stranger video on this guy's YouTube channel. Mocker writes, I believe the one with the woman, video number five I think, could possibly be fake, but what if it's not? What if this is all real? It's giving me this weird gut feeling, and I can't find too much information. You know what they say, always trust your gut. What is your gut telling you about this one? What is hiding in this deep dark cave in Romania? This crew of adventure seekers is about to find out. Watch closely in the darkness. <laughs> What is that lump? It looks like an animal sleeping. The guys appear scared of the mysterious creature, and they start to make their way out of the cave. Their camera goes berserk. Did they just escape from the cave creature of Romania Borsec? Personally, I think this was just a trick of the light, but I still get the chills from this clip. I'm staying far away from caves either way. This footage is terrifying to any cyclist on the road. Published in April of 2022, Cycling Mikey writes, The footage was given to me by a subscriber who asked me to make the video available. In case anyone knows this man and is willing to give his details, he had videoed the driver using his mobile phone and the driver took exception to that. Captured at around 10.30 p.m. in July of 2021, the footage shows a cyclist riding as fast as he can from the car in question. He is calling out to any passers-by to call the police. 
Help me, call the police, call the police! Help me! Help me! The car is clearly chasing him. It even drives up on the sidewalk at one point as the cyclist tries to escape. The cyclist luckily eventually loses the driver, pulls into a driveway and drops his bike to the ground. Commenters call this outrageous and criminal behavior. Well, at least one commenter was able to capture the license plate number. Was it enough to find the culprit, or does he have dodgy plates? Sadly, I was never able to find out. A British YouTuber named Scouse Mouse only stayed in his home for three more days after recording all of these objects in his kitchen moving on their own. I find the 2 liter of coke to be interesting because the liquid appears to move before the bottle does. Watch what I mean here. Play it in slow motion and you'll see the contents inside moves shortly before the bottle is launched. I don't think that the contents inside would move like that if it was being pulled by a piece of string. Some seriously scary moments are caught on livestream at a spiritual commune. There's a sudden intake of breath as soon as her movements begin, despite not looking at her hands. His body rises to form the same V shape that her arms make without looking at her. It's like he feels it, and then he relaxes when she does. At 12 minutes and 35 seconds, he looks over to someone, a loved one perhaps, who obviously cares for him, and goes into hysterics at something he says. If you speak the language, please let us know. Possessed people come to this advisor from all over Indonesia in search of someone who can separate them from their demonic attachment. Creepy videos like this live stream have me wondering if this possession is real. I think it might be real, but they also could be experiencing some sort of mass delusion from panic. On February 3rd, 2020, a bizarre video was posted on Twitter showing some strange activity caused by mysterious things in the sky, weird lines like some kind of wavelengths projecting outwards. A Twitter user posted the mysterious video because he says it needs explaining. He says this is electromagnetic interference of some kind, but has no idea what it could be from. If this is a result of EMF radiation, then the source is giving off a giant amount and must be large itself in return. Tell me if you think you know what's happening here, because it's been over a year and the mysterious event he caught on video still cannot be explained. A YouTuber named Jessie V and her sister Mandy are constantly hearing strange noises coming from the attic. They would have happily never gone up there, if not for their insistent fans who demanded to know the answer. They finally work up enough courage to take a ladder up there. Mandy goes up first and gets a really bad feeling. She's describing the general layout when they catch something that might have followed her back down. In a mirror on the wall is the reflection of a figure that is a quarter of the size of Mandy, whose much larger reflection can be seen right beside it. Whatever this is, it's standing right in front of both of them. 
Jessie turns the camera to reveal her father standing off to the side, but he is way too tall to be at. Also, this figure lacks any color or detail at all. Only later, when a commenter pointed out the creepy shadow person, did they go back and review the video. No answer was ever provided. Most videos of unidentified flying object sightings are out of focus or simply blinking lights. This one is the opposite of that. The video shows a saucer-shaped flying object sitting in an open field near forest and mountains. You can see at least one figure outside the vehicle standing to its left. A close-up shown later in the footage reveals that the creature is the quintessential Martian. Overly large cranium, long thin limbs and all. After the Martian returns inside, a launching sound is heard. As the vehicle's engine revs up, in an instant the saucer shoots straight upward. The suddenness of the launch causes the person holding the camera to drop the shot downward before racing away on foot. What would you do if you encountered this at the edge of the forest? I just know I wouldn't be sticking around to find out. I don't want to go to Mars just yet. This list is full of stalkers, and they all seem to have one thing in common. They like to stand still outside people's homes, especially after receiving a note that said, I'll see you here after 6 p.m. Remember Mr. Slim. A few hours later, he heard someone or something outside his house. Camera in tow, he peered out his upper window. There was a man standing on the sidewalk below, wearing dark colors and what appeared to be a ski mask. As the boy dropped his camera to the left and then returned again back to the stalker, he found that the man had disappeared. So he did exactly what none of us would do. He raced downstairs to go outside and find the stalker, but the man was nowhere to be found. The boy said that he was starting to get worried and debated whether or not to tell his parents. Most in the comments section agree that he should, while others offer more sage advice. Next time, don't go outside. A YouTuber named Elton Minea Severo is recording a webcam video. When a phone call interrupts him, it looks like he might sense that something is nearby when he is talking, but he is too distracted by the conversation to give it much more than a moment's thought. As soon as he hangs up the phone, a white moon-shaped face peeks in from around the corner. It surveys the room for a bit before ducking down and leaping out of sight when Elton turns around, at which point you can momentarily see some kind of weird body with short arms and legs. There is a chance that all of this could be edited, but before you immediately think this is fake, keep in mind that it was recorded in 2006, so pretty much all webcam videos looked grainy like this. If anything, this was a pretty high quality video for its time, especially considering YouTube was less than two years old when it was uploaded, so who knows what it could have been. A creepy stranger in a crazy mood is apparently trying her best to freak out the owner of this doorbell camera. With all the weird things she's caught on tape doing, she walks towards the doorbell camera while making a face, and she turns around when she sees the headlights of an oncoming car. Clearly aware that she's doing something wrong and afraid of getting caught, she steps away as the car passes, but soon she's back at it again, this time chomping at the camera and then doing some weird movements with her arms. Maybe she's got the wrong house and thinks she knows the owner of this doorbell cam. Maybe she's trying to get their attention and wants to be let in. She doesn't necessarily look dangerous but doesn't appear to be in her right mind and could probably change moods at any moment. So I don't blame the homeowner for not opening the door and seeing what she wanted. I doubt it was anything good. History comes to life at this old stone church, and so do the spirits. Roudax Paranormal Investigation calls this one of the best records of paranormal activity in a century-old stone church in the north-central part of the state of Rio de Janeiro. Soon enough, they come to the old stone church, 
but before they even arrive at the stone church, they spot something in the darkness. Their cameras don't capture what it is they're seeing. Soon enough, they come to the old stone church. Its creepy facade is enough to send you on your way. Inside, they find overgrowth, vines dangling, some seemingly suspended midair. Later, they stand before a small crucifix in a stone room. They speak to the spirits through a spirit box here. One says that she's listening to them and that she is suffering, but the creepiest part is yet to come. As the cameraman stands far off, he captures a shadow figure shifting past the crew in the crucifix room. Is this the spirit they were speaking to, or do they have multiple entities surrounding them? This one will get you all kinds of nervous. According to the video, paranormal events have occurred in Guadalajara, Mexico, when a tourist was visiting the cathedral where the saint lays, the young child's eyes opened. According to the website, La Oscura Habitacion, the video was taken on December 12, 2012. The tourist who took the video footage on his cell phone claimed that he hadn't witnessed the child's eyes open at the time, but only saw it afterwards in viewing the video. The stories of how this saint became martyred are contradictory. Some stories call into question whether this is even the saint, as it's stated that all the reliquaries that remain of her are her skeletal hands. Whether this is the saint or not, the mystery begins and ends here. The girl is clearly passed, has been for many years, and yet she's opening her eyes. A paranormal investigator known only as Survivor is on his way to go exploring an abandoned haunted cottage. On the outskirts of town, one o'clock in the morning is when he sees, in his words, a strange grandmother on an abandoned road. There is no reason for anybody to be walking miles from town so late at night, let alone a senior, so he pulls over to see if she needs any help. To his surprise, the woman who was just there moments ago has mysteriously disappeared. He has a really bad feeling, so he pulls over at the side of the road. What he finds next has him wondering if this was a real ghost sighting caught on video. He finds nothing but an old tattered cloth where the woman was last sighted. It looks like it could just be a piece of roadside trash like a tarp or something. Take another look. Was this item really what her ghost was wearing? Every single body has disappeared from this Thailand cemetery overnight, casket and all. Empty rows stretch as far as the eye can see, with absolutely no evidence as to how it was done, no tracks from heavy machinery, no shovels accidentally left behind, no footprints, nothing. The person recording cries. Is this a sign from above? Zombies, body snatchers, whatever the answer may be. This video simply shouldn't exist. A strange and mysterious object is found in the woods by a YouTuber named Grant and has his whole group of friends startled by what's inside. Wrapped in tape and caught in the bushes is a creepy red color, faded from being out here so long. They pull at the tape and three minutes later, they are finally ready to reveal the revolting contents inside. Hold on, open it up for a minute. I gotta, I gotta record it. Look at it. What is that? What is it? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> Gray floating chunks rise to the top of the gelatinous pile, an unknown mystery sludge that blows them back with a rotten stench on a windless day. They run away from it more than once. Things get weirder as a frightening conclusion creeps over them. Hey, this is like a somebody's body. You like somebody's body? Huh? I don't know. I'm holding my breath every time I go over there. Okay, it's kind of sketch, bro. Why with duct tape? I'm calling that one. Don't call the don't call the emergency one. 
Someone is leaving this weird thing in the forest, one of the scariest finds of their life, and whoever it is has a lot of duct tape. There is a lake nearby, so I hope it's a fishing cooler full of improperly disposed bait and not what they fear it is. We never get an answer to this unexplained video, so tell me what you think this mystery substance was that made them call 911. What is this thing drifting in the sky over Poland? This mysterious video was posted in a private Polish Facebook group and shared to the UFO subreddit by Redditor RevolutionaryKale46. Let's watch. It floats undisturbed over the field, even peaceful in its descent. Unfortunately, the clip ends there, and we don't see if or where it lands. Some Redditors think it's a Mondo Shawin ship looking after the elements that actually looks pretty spot on to me. It's got my vote. Now this may sound far-fetched, but this TikTok will leave you terrified. Shared by TikTok Paranormal and originally posted by Um Sam, I guess, this young woman was scaring her sister when she herself was scared by a shadow, but not just any shadow. Hey, let's go get my sister. Hey, Charlie, watch out. Watch for the shadow person here. What are you doing? <laughs> Got you, me. Good. Go, 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 go. Did you see it? Oh my Danny, 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 is it an intruder or a paranormal figure? I can't tell for sure, but if this video hasn't made you pee your pants, I don't know what will. Robert Reddick has been waiting two weeks for this day to come, but now the deep web box has finally arrived and he is incredibly nervous. He contemplates not opening the box at all at first. Then Robert calls over some friends and the three of them dive in. The first thing they notice is a weird stain on the inside of the box, followed by an impossibly pungent smell that nearly bowls them over. They put on some gloves and keep going. Tucked beneath some bubble wrap are two handwritten letters that say I'm sorry repeatedly. A third letter says a single word, Shinigami, which I looked up the meaning of. This is the name for ancient supernatural creatures who were thought to shepherd humans to the afterlife in Japan mythology. There's a lot of weird stuff left to pick through, like a fishbowl that's filled with a bunch of thumbtacks and a single red lighter. There's also a fourth note waiting inside. It is now your turn. Barry, don't burn. It is now you who is cursed. They wish you the worst. And then another I'm sorry now. What are you about here? Boys. I'm skipping past some items here, but eventually they come across a blank letter at the bottom of the box with a rather creepy hidden message. Stop well. Gross. Stop well. You, you can. can. It says stop well you can. Stop well you can. They do not heed the warning and eventually happen upon a large plastic bag with something decomposing inside. It's hard to say whether these are just props or a true deep web mystery waiting to be unraveled. I think the three friends appear very creeped out by the end of the video, so it's probably real. But I'd like to know what you think of their reactions. Watch the left side of your screen for something creepy. <laughs> A large figure is bouncing up and down at the side of the road trying to get their attention. 
What they see when they drive past leaves them creeped out for life. This screenshot taken at exactly 7 seconds shows a weird fish-like head turning one oversized eye towards the camera for a closer look. I was thinking this could be like a company mascot or something, but they aren't standing in front of a business and they aren't holding a sign. Has this car full of friends caught an authentic unknown creature sighting on camera like they claim? I wish they would have driven back around for another look, but I can understand them not wanting to risk it. A YouTuber named Bros Got Game is convinced that his local graveyard is haunted, but the only way to find out is to grab a friend and record there at 3am. They haven't even entered the main courtyard before they hear something approach. But if you guys see anything that I've... What was that? Smoke follows them throughout their exploration, even though there are no flames at any point in the video. After following a dirt path for a while, they come across a broken rope suspended from a gnarled old tree. It's pretty obvious to me that it must have snapped under someone's weight, though where they are is not clear. A short while later, one of them thinks they feel something grab their arm and quickly hurry out. Certainly a smart choice. This intruder can walk through walls. Posted to the r slash ghost video subreddit. A scary figure was captured on redditor Ale Oops friend surveillance feed at around 1 in the morning. The video shows a dark and empty yard. At first, nothing appears unusual, but watch the back doorway. About 30 seconds in, a pale figure can be seen walking from left to right. You can see it outlined in the dark doorway, but if you look closely, it actually shows up seconds before, appearing semi-transparent as it walks past the exterior wall and turns into the doorway, disappearing inside the house. While some in the comments think a genuine spirit has been captured, Others suggest it's a combination of a prowler and a distortion from the cheap night vision camera. Honestly though, either is terrifying. In this house, you'll expect a jump scare around every corner. After experiencing paranormal events in his family home, this man decided to take some video to see if he could capture anything on camera. Let's take the haunted tour. What is happening here? He finds a flower on the stairs. He claims no one in the household knows where it came from. Is this knock a warning? As the YouTuber believes? Well, upstairs in the bedroom, it happens again. Something just threw the clothes from the wardrobe. If those knocks were a warning, I'd take the clothes as a clear message. This ghost wants you to leave. Anyone who's ever pulled a prank knows that it can quickly go too far. No one more so than YouTuber Faze Rug. In a prank video posted in December of 2017, Faze Rug writes, Today I decided to do the scariest prank I've ever done, and we took it a little too far. She ended up crying, but the prank was a success. Just how scary was this prank? Well, imagine chatting and watching TV with your cousins when you hear a knock on your second floor balcony window. Ryan had climbed a ladder to the roof in order to pull off this prank, and it proved successful as his targets jumped in fear at the noise. But that wasn't the end of it. Ryan next shakes the handle of the balcony door in a frenzy, causing the trio to race from the room. <laughs> Oh, what is that? 
He hops to another balcony, slamming on the door as well. New, the girl being pranked, then calls Ryan, asking where he is and telling him there's someone outside the home. Ryan claims to be getting food and seemingly happy that he made Nu so distressed. He tells her they're on their way, donning a freaky mask. Ryan? What? Ryan, where are you? Ryan, where are you? We're getting food, why? Ryan knocks on the window one last time before hopping to the opposite balcony and bursting through the door that they had previously unlocked. Oh! Seeing the masked intruder reveal that he's actually their cousin, the boys laugh the prank off, but New looks clearly pretty upset about it. Would you be able to find this funny? Or would the stoking of your fear and adrenaline go too far? The Haunted Side is a ghost hunting channel in Reno, Nevada, led by Patrick McCreary, a paranormal investigator who has been experiencing ghost sightings since the age of nine, and he likes exploring abandoned places where something has gone wrong in the past. Tonight, he and his fellow ghost hunter, Jason Spencer, will explore the Truckee House, a creepy and cursed place haunted by the spirits of a mother, father, and three children ever since they were slain by a random madman sometime in the 1940s. Within minutes, the haunted side detects supernatural activity on their equipment. The paranormal energy is so strong that the ghost family can finish his sentence. We don't mean you any harm. If somebody came in here and, and hurt my throat, you hear that? Yeah. A weak and weary ghost voice must belong to the father. His EVP responses always make sense, like here when they ask him to read some graffiti on the wall. What does that say? Can you tell us what that says? Creepy. On the top floor is a small, rotten room that is mostly withered away from the elements. The scary, disembodied voice of the father follows, hopeless as ever as it advises them not to walk across the weak floor. Be very careful. Is this safe for me to do this? <laughs> no. They walk around the perimeter of the house instead for more paranormal evidence, and sure enough, the two explorers hear more possible ghost noises. Did you hear that? The ghost hunter is understandably a little too creeped out to talk. A young sounding, um, like almost cry. Like, huh? Ah, but like, young. But in other words, it's a little ghost girl crying from the nearby haunted woods. Did you hear that? A few minutes later, they record this ghost sighting on video as the hand of a child pulls away from them at the last moment, a hand that's reaching out from the basement window. Although this could be the tale of a rat as it scurries away. With that said, some people claim to see a scary face looking not too far from where the ghost hand was sighted. I think I see it, but then again, it kind of looks like a rock in the grass, so who knows? The exploration continues inside. Their paranormal tracking equipment is able to pick out the wireframe of Jason, which proves it works, and then it detects a second mysterious figure pressed up against a support column, like it's hiding from them. Soon, the scary moment goes from a ghost sighting to actual paranormal contact. The part right now huh? is this floor. Yeah, you can are you see into the basement? Are you down in the basement? Both ghost sightings cease when Jason can no longer take the cold and has to walk away. The question is whether or not this was a friendly gesture or a more serious encounter, maybe even an attempt at demonic possession. A CCTV system in India shows a man walk past a little girl playing by herself. She reaches out here at the 5 second mark, but I'm not sure if she says anything to him or not. If she does, he doesn't seem to respond. 
He stops and it looks like he might be concerned for her well-being at first, but that's not the case. At the 45 second mark, he pauses to look directly at her, then over his shoulder to check inside the house nearby, presumably to see if any witnesses were near. He says something to her and brings a hand up to her like she is thinking something through, probably trying to judge if a statement is true. They start to walk away from her house and he is pointing at something all the while maybe at some imaginary promise around the corner meant to get her to walk with him. Everything is going to plan until she suddenly rushes back. He gives her some distance but does not leave. Time passes and he silently disappears behind a tree. I don't know if he was hoping to pop out and grab her or what, but it's definitely more creepy behavior. He stands there for a full minute after the initial encounter until walking away. Maybe he made a note of this house and plans to return. With her camera recording, a girl kneels before a darkened doorway and challenges a spirit to touch her. A light passes over the room and her hair is brushed over her shoulder as if someone is passing through. I find this video hard to believe because that definitely looks like a flashlight coming from the other room based on the way it hits the wall beside her in a concentrated circular beam. With that said, it still doesn't explain how her hair moved with no one nearby. Let me know if this effect is possible to do in Photoshop, or whether or not you think this is real. If it is real, then I have no idea why she would want to summon something so powerful in her own home. Samuel Porter lives near an abandoned house that he wants to explore, so he and his friends take a short walk and soon find themselves standing outside of its gnarled wooden door. Someone has gone to great lengths to keep trespassers away. The door is locked and the window they get in through is covered in barbed wire. The inside of the old cottage is filthy and collapsing. Large sections of the floor have been eaten away, but they curiously press on. Samuel Porter pokes his head through a hole in the ceiling to see what's on the second floor, a decision he will remember forever. The first thing he notices are two sticks that have been formed into a hanging cross for some reason. <laughs> then to the left he sees the knotted rope. I did notice one thing about this creepy scenario. If this is an actual noose meant for hanging purposes, then it looks to be set the wrong height for someone to use on themselves. I'm curious to find out what you think happened in this room. To me, it unfortunately looks pretty obvious. A YouTube channel called Paranormal Voyages has one of the best videos of otherworldly evidence I've seen in a long time. This haunting video is taken at the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada, a place where you can spend the night with over 2,000 creepy clown dolls inside while they are busy addressing any spirits nearby. One of the life-size clown mannequins reaches out for a ghost hunter and possibly makes contact with them. Watch its arm move on its own. Are you a text she looks back genuinely surprised, only to see the clown doll smiling innocently at her, as if it's never moved by itself. I guess somebody could have been hiding behind the creepy doll to make its arm move, but if not, then this would have to be one of the scariest moments I've ever seen caught on tape. This father and son paranormal team is about to check into a haunted hotel, published by Paranormal Boys in December of 2021. When they first enter, they find everything in disarray. They sit down around the table, and it sounds like something has joined them. As they're using their paranormal devices, they hear a strange breathing sound, and then another unexplained noise. Oh, whoa, whoa. did you hear that? No? Has someone taken a room at this haunted hotel? If so, they may never leave. A bottle of cleaning solution is far from scary until it moves across the counter on its own. The clerk has his back turned so it's not him. It never moves when he's looking. He can sense something strange but when he turns around, the object stops. He probably has the bottle out because he wiped the counter down. 
If the surface is still wet, then that could be why the object is sliding towards him. But if that were the reason then, why would it stop moving every time he turns around? That part seems more like a ghost is messing with him. So is our freaked out friend in India really working front desk at a haunted office building? Based on the weird things caught on CCTV, I really think the evidence presents a strong case for the paranormal. What hides in the shadows can oftentimes be shadows themselves. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Mego White, the Redditor explains that she and her husband were away from home over a weekend and set up the motion detector Alfred camera app in their room for the surveillance. When they returned from their trip, they were met with this unusual and terrifying video. The clip shows a fuzzy bedroom backdropped by a doorway with either a light on beyond or a natural source of light casting inside the other room. That light shift says something is apparently moving enough to set off the motion sensor. In fact, that something appears to pass right across the doorway, blocking out the light beyond for a moment. You can make out a distinct figure. It's more like a shadow or a vague or even invisible figure that still somehow manages to distort the light. There is definite movement, but from what, we can't know for sure. Redditor JJ740 asks if there was an intrusion, to which Meg answers that all the doors and windows were locked and nothing was missing. She also notes that strange things have been occurring in this house for a matter of months. Like what? Meg explains we can always see a shadow walking out of the office through the wall into my closet, and I always thought I was seeing things until we caught this on camera. She also says in another comment that her kids have heard people talking, and her two-year-old has even started laughing at something in empty rooms of the home. A Redditor writes, that's actually genuinely creepy. Of course, as with every potentially paranormal clip, you have your insect theories, but most agree that the clip looks legit and not edited or faked. What do you think? Are you freaked out? I certainly am. This Uber passenger looks like a relatively regular person at first, until he reveals a rather unsettling tendency. Oh, God. He reaches to his face and gently presses both eyes out of the socket. The right eye protrudes way more than the left and looks ready to burst and roll down his cheek at any moment. I can't imagine that doing this would be good for your eyes at all, and I hope he doesn't cause long-term health problems. But for now, he has definitely succeeded in creating a video to creep out you and me both. What is going on in this neighborhood parking lot? Ben Lewis shared this mysterious security footage to Facebook, which appears to show a semi-transparent child figure. Watch against the house in the center. A moment later, this happens. Did you see the building's light come on? I agree with many in the comments that say it looks like the child ghost is skateboarding. And apparently, the place is said to be haunted by a child ghost named Emily. So I believe this is an open and shut case. There's a meeting going down inside this office. The only problem? No one attended. Published by Teofilo in August of 2011, this mysterious activity was captured on camera. The video shows what looks like your everyday office, but you soon realize it absolutely isn't. A chair and stool move near simultaneously by themselves. After the chair slows to a standstill, the stool jerks out even further into the aisle. It continues to move, even tilting at one point. It later dives over onto the floor. Is this a ghost meeting gone wrong? Or is some visual trickery happening here? Either way, if you work here, it might be a good idea to call in sick tomorrow. While investigating this demon house, YouTube team KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas encounters a real-life demon. In the wilderness, they start to get a wild EMF reading. Then they break out a thermal camera and capture this. 
Grace. Grace, cuidado, Grace. Oh. And they later captured the devil in their spirit box session. O diabo. Follow her, man. Fit, be spared, fit. They also take a photo in which something spooky is captured. These are just the grounds of the demon house. I feel that there's definitely something haunting this property, but we'll have to tune into the final episode of the series to find out. Deep inside these tunnels lies something no one was meant to see. Published to YouTube in November of 2016, Connor Does Adventure explains, We did not fake or plan any of this. We just started recording for a blog and this is what we found. Entering deep into a watery tunnel, the boys start to hear something. No, I can't see. They all freak each other out and start running towards an exit. At first, you think they were just scared and adrenaline caught up with them, but it turns out someone or something was in fact chasing them. Once out in the sunlight, they stand at the entrance before heading into the tunnel the short ways again. A strange squealing sound can be heard, and as the camera focuses in, a figure is clearly seen, although it's unlike any creature you'd ever seen before. It's gray skin and alien-like, and it's marching towards them with a determined air. Any ideas what this is? Is it a madman? Or is it a watery tunnel creature? Most importantly, is this thing harmless, or should they be running immediately? Don't wait around to find out. Creepy videos don't get much scarier than the creature caught lurking around Anton Meyer's house. No, his house is not haunted, at least not in the traditional sense, but this scary moment will definitely haunt him for the rest of his days in South Africa. The animal control expert needs to move the snake into a cylinder containment unit on the floor, but as more and more of the creature stretches forth, I don't think it will fit. I wanted to know if this is a snouted cobra like he says it is. If so, these snakes are highly venomous and probably the absolute last species you'd want in your home, let alone in such an intimate area. Oh, and by the way, according to the description of this video, the handler accidentally lost his grip and the snake made the watery retreat back to where it came from. Hopefully it doesn't make a second appearance when they least expect it, but since cobras tend to be territorial during certain parts of the year, it's likely to return at some point. Sensitive sensor lights can sense stuff invisible to the human eye, at least this one can. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Spread the Words, the redditor shares that strange things have been occurring in his grandmother's house. One of these strange things involve orbs that seem to trigger the hallway sensor lights. This happened on more than one occasion. The short clip does show an orb rising into view, and instantly the hallway light turns on. Is this a paranormal event or merely a coincidence? Believers in the paranormal commonly think orbs are light energy that is somehow linked to the spirit world. Skeptics believe they're just air particles, dust, water, or other types of photography backscatter. But how do you explain dust triggering a light sensor? While there are plenty of skeptics in the comments saying this orb is just dust, others are prone to think otherwise. How would dust turn on a light? A narrow knot 369 writes that he would assume it was dust if the motion light wasn't triggered by it, but every time the orb appears, the light turns on. Others observe that if the light sensor was sensitive enough to be triggered by dust, wouldn't the light always be on? Whose side are you on? A family was reportedly taken from this scary abandoned house, and these ghost hunters are here to investigate. Published by Dark Arts TV in August of 2021, they first come across a photograph of creepy porcelain dolls. They then open the door to a room before heading outside. While outside, they hear an unexplained sound. So I got a big torch on now. Yo, the car's just banged. Another happens shortly after, scaring the crew. This video right. Right now. Energy.com for sponsoring this video right. 
Back inside, while one of them is waiting for the other near the stairs, the front door opens. Later, they hear voices, and it sounds like someone is at the door. When they ask the spirit to show itself, they hear it again. Can you show yourself? Outside again, they speak to the spirit through the spirit box, and he tells them what he's ready for. They later hear male voices, not through the spirit box, but nearby. Man's voice, yeah. Yeah, I'm turning this off, mate. They decide it's time to leave before they get taken to. Three masked men attempt a daring heist in Sydney, Australia at the Miller Shopping Centre. They are in the middle of taking jewels when literally everyone in the store decides they are not going to take this, and soon the men find themselves running for their lives. Customers and staff join together and chase the men out of the mall. Not even the fact one of the masked men is holding a sledgehammer is enough to hold back the angry, vigilante mob. The three masked men flee into a red van and speed away with the mob close behind, with so many similar instances caught on video. It's quite a surprise to see everyone join in to chase off the robbers for once. If you like to scrounge for snacks at night, this video will have you second guessing that midnight snack. Posted to Reddit by Better Than Better, the home security footage reveals a dark and seemingly empty kitchen at night. Around 30 seconds in, a man trudges in and opens the fridge to get a snack. While the man is standing at the fridge, drinking something, watch the teddy bear on the kitchen table. It starts moving ever so slightly, bobbing up and down, but that's not all. When the man closes the fridge and turns to leave, the baby walker next to the table does this, confused about whether he saw what he thinks he saw. The man doesn't take his eyes off the baby walker as he leaves the room, but he returns a short time later, his wife by his side, presumably to explain what happened. As he's indicating that the baby walker moved of its own accord, the teddy bear falls over, or rather seems to fly backwards. As the wife jumps out of the room and the man approaches the bear, two of the chairs tucked under the table spring out simultaneously. If that isn't enough to scare you out of your own home, I don't know what is. I believe dealing with an incident like this is something 99% of people couldn't handle. These residents captured an actual witch on camera hovering right in their driveway, shared by YouTuber Madison ENT. The footage was taken at around 3 in the morning. Watch closely above the vehicle. Baby. Baby, come on, see. Baby, baby. The mysterious being drifts for a moment, and all you can see is its glowing eyes and wild hair, and then it does this. Whether this was a witch or not, I think it was important to run away. My advice to this YouTuber would be to put as much space between you and this thing as possible. A YouTuber named Trey P is wandering around an empty graveyard somewhere in New Orleans all by himself when he hears this voice out of nowhere. <laughs> He claims that the voice belongs to a ghost, though to be honest, it might just be his. The only way to tell if this video is real would be to have Trey P say a sentence and then compare his voice with the voice in the video. The next time you're at a club and the lights go out, take a look around you. You might be surrounded by extraterrestrials. Published in April of 2013 by YouTuber Grumpy Jamaican, this scary video has me questioning everything. The old footage shows an elite party at a Russian nightclub. Everyone is dancing and 
having fun until the power goes out and captures something unexpected. Three of the so-called humans in the video had an inhuman quality, glowing eyes. The unsettling horror was captured on camera as the nightclubbers danced. The eyes of one woman and two men standing near each other all glow brightly in the darkness. No other person in their vicinity suffers the same optical glow. Unlike animals, humans have terrible night vision. Many in the comments are rightly freaked out by this discovery. YouTuber Love and Learning notes that this cannot be a reflection. She writes, All their eyes glowed at the same time, and they were in different places with people around them. So reflection is not the light source. Are these figures extraterrestrial? Or are they humans with bioluminescent genes? Either option is troubling. That thing you see out of the corner of your eye shouldn't be trusted. Posted by Finger Long Jumping 804 to the Ghosts subreddit. This looks more like a gremlin than a spirit. The video shows a man just trying to go about his day, taking out the trash. But as he opens the door, this strange small shadow leaps into view and quickly disappears out of the frame. The guy doesn't appear to see the figure in reality as he opens the door. Redditor Joey Josie suggests that someone just threw a piece of clothing across the room. Others think it's a gremlin. Some who've slowed the clip down note that the figure appears transparent, but perhaps the best theory comes from Pantless Weekends who writes, Trash bag was taken out, but its soul remained in the house. Better kick that to the curb too, before it stays for good. January 21st, about 11 p.m. Uh, I'm a couple hundred feet from my house. You can hear it going off in the background right now. Kinda sounds weird. A brave man hears sinister laughter near his house and rushes outside to investigate. The maniacal laughter is moving closer to where he is standing now. He stands by the street light rather than going any further into the darkness on his own. I was thinking that this could be a simple coyote, but then he says this. If foxes and coyotes have been around here that long, why we wouldn't have heard them before. And all of a sudden, since November, things have been just going crazy around our community. So apparently, foxes and coyotes have been around this area for a long time, and never have they made these kinds of noises before, meaning that this was probably something different. I also really want to know what he meant when he says that strange things have been happening in his community in November. This video was apparently taken on a reservation in Oregon, but if anyone knows which one, then please let me know so that I can do some further research. Anyway, things seem to be quieting down when all of a sudden shots are fired and an unearthly scream fills the night air. If this was not a fox or a coyote, then what could it possibly have been? A YouTuber named D-Dog Vlogs has been uploading since mid-2016 and specializes in exploring haunted places that are about as scary as they come, with a preference for historic locations whenever possible. He has been known to pair up with the likes of Mo Sarji and others in an effort to push his paranormal investigations to greater lengths and solidify his place in the YouTube ghost hunting community. On January January 20th of 2020, he heads to a single story home that is rumored to old secrets so terrible that no one in the community wanted to share any details aside from a basic address. Curious, he heads to the site with fellow ghost hunters, Tay and Carlo, to see for themselves what this house holds. The first thing they notice is a glowing yellow light that flickers oddly over a door that's bolted shut. It's one of the only working lights left in the house, and it's shining like a beacon to get their attention. But look at that room. That's creepy. But more on that in a moment. For now, watch how the camera goes out of focus like something or someone invisible is standing right in front of them. It happens again here at exactly three minutes and ironically goes on until he's finished asking people to comment if they see anything. Now, I don't know if these places are haunted or not, so comment down below if you guys see or hear anything. I'm not saying they're haunted, I'm just not sure. After some more exploring, they return to this mysterious locked door and see marks where it had been repeatedly drilled shut with a padlock. Something incredibly strong must have been in here at one point, and the family must have been intent on keeping it contained. Yet when they open the door, they are surprised to find a colorful race car border above. This is a kid's room of all places. They suspect that a child was locked in here for long periods of time, and I think that 
evidence proves that much is true. Perhaps they were even kept here well into adulthood, might I add. Furthermore, they seem to think this section of the door was either struck or clawed out over time, possibly after an extended period of isolation, which would require immense strength. I think it could simply be termite damage, but you tell me. So I want to know why you think the child was locked in here. It could have been evil parents or behavioral problems. The extent to which they had to go in order to keep the child contained seems to indicate an extreme psychological state that would require them to be on alert at all times. Their child probably needed to be kept away from sharp objects and locked in at night so that they don't do something drastic to themselves or to their parents while they slept. On the contrary, maybe that's not the case at all, and the child had evil, disturbed parents who did this for no reason. D-Dog explores a different abandoned house two months later on March 28th, and this investigation gets so crazy that I need your help to figure out if it's real. Is this red paint, or is it what I think it is? I really hope not. So much. At 2 minutes and 10 seconds, it kind of looks like somebody got jabbed in the corner, stumbled a few steps forward to the center of the room, and then went to the doorway. Then they doubled back, still leaking, and probably crumpled in this corner where the trail ends. Or maybe that's where they were put by someone else. Tiny red splotches leading upstairs gives me the impression that more than one person was here. This red substance has dried against the wall and hardly looks reassuring. And sadly, in the corner of this upstairs room is more evidence. But creepiest of all, even more so than what's on the wall or on the floor, is what's in this small, unassuming corner or rather what happens when they go near. This is the only part of the video that becomes blurry, and for no reason at all. It's as if something is trying to get their attention, and perhaps figuring out for the first time that it is crossed onto the other side and can no longer communicate with the living. Now you're probably wondering where the homeowners were, and so was I. But with a basement flooded with solid ice, I think we both know the answer. <laughs> Ever wish you had supernatural powers? Well, this video supposedly shows a Thai girl who discovered she did. When she was driven to anger at a bus stop, the video shot in Thailand begins with a girl smack talking someone as she leaves the bus. She is being held back by a friend who remains quiet. The girl continues to point and exchange some heated words with the driver, who steps down from his post to return fire. Spectators watch from the ground, and others hang out of windows to witness the exchange. The shouting match continues in Thai with plenty of pointing and aggression. Another guy tries to intervene. He shouts at the girl and goes to slap her, but before he can, he is thrown back by a supernatural force. The spectators scream. The origin of this force seems to not be the shouting girl, but her silent friend who stood behind her. The quiet girl then steps forward and points her hand out, palm forward, and the bus driver flies up the side of the bus before dropping to the ground. The girl looks at her hands in amazement, as though this is the first time she's realized she has these scary supernatural powers. Everyone is quiet and staring at the girl. She turns in a circle, puts her hands out again, and a table and chairs fly backward. The bus driver yells at her, and she makes him fly into the air again. And even her friend backed away and won't come near her. The video ends with the girl looking down at her hands, collapsing to the ground, shaking and screaming shrilly, while the footage appears all too real, with no strings attached. Many in the YouTube comments call it out as a fake. YouTuber Pei Pina says, I'm Thai, and Thai people like to make dramas with superpowers like this. While well, Jacob Zamet notes, the biggest flaw in this video is the fact that no one else is talking while the argument progresses, letting the main characters in this film be heard as the girl and the guy take turns. He also notes that video cameras or cell phones with video components, and it's unlikely that someone who just levitated would have another go at the person who just did it. All good points. Still a scary and intriguing video. You kind of wish it was real. 
A YouTuber named Black River Fossils is on the hunt for more evidence of a megalodon shark. He gets to do this once a week and he wants to make the most of this hobby on a rainy day in South Carolina. He goes out to a fresh clearing that has been sectioned off for digging. It isn't long before he finds a very small bull shark tooth, but this isn't enough to impress him so he keeps searching. Then sticking partially out of the mud from the fresh rains, he finds what he is looking for. Please be old, please be old. The gigantic black megalodon tooth is serrated on both ends, like the edge of a carving knife. Black River Fossils later measures the tooth and finds it to be a full four and a half inches long. That's not the size of a full grown adult tooth, but looking at it up close, I can only imagine the amount of damage that one of these juveniles can inflict on a human, let alone the thousands that megalodons were known to have. I did look up Megalodon teeth online to verify this video, and sure enough they look exactly like this one. For those of you who are interested, Megalodon teeth sell for about $600 on average. YouTuber Jossie Sandhu Official captured what he believes is a real witch on camera. First he hears her crying, then he sees her. Then she lets out this whale that would drive anyone away. Is this truly a witch? I think so. I've never heard something so otherworldly in my life. A scary video by Annie Magic has gone viral in Russia because of how much creepy stuff is in it, beginning with a black plastic trash bag found while exploring an abandoned house late at night. What's inside confuses her as much as it does frighten. <laughs> It sounds like she says look, but it probably means something different in Russian. So tell me what this handwritten message really says. She looks up in time to see a car stop and drive off. It's strange to see anyone out here at all, let alone so late at night. And so she goes to where the vehicle last was. The grass is wet and cold underfoot, and it soaks through her shoes. It takes her a great while to get there, and then, much to her dismay, she finds what's been left behind. The car drives slow, headlights off, the brights flip when she's within grabbing distance. She runs for her life and must have gotten away because she has uploaded since then. I'm not sure if this video is scripted or not. She hasn't gone exploring any abandoned houses for years now, which makes me think this scary experience could be real. A telephone pole goes down, leaving wires scattered across the road. Witnesses are calling police when somebody makes the curious mistake of walking up close for a better look. That's the whole point. So I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to be around the electricity. I'm not exaggerating when I say a bolt of electricity could shoot through this line and strike him down. The wire he steps over at 14 seconds is the same wire shown here at 6 seconds still connected to the pole. This person should be nowhere near the area. Downed power lines are extremely hazardous because they can still be active and there's no way to tell until it's too late. He's extremely lucky he's alive and I'm surprised nobody in these cars were shouting at him to get back. If you see a situation like this, never do what this person does, or it could be your last moments on earth. Morgan Adams is a popular YouTuber who doesn't ordinarily focus on paranormal content at all. So when she recently suspected that her house was haunted, you know I had to take a look. Let's go over the evidence and see if her suspicions are correct. She claims to hear tapping and scratching on the walls, which could be an animal, but then there's whispers too. 
When this happens, she uses Snapchat and almost always detects a second face nearby. She has named the spirit Angie and it seems to have become quite attached. Angie often responds to her own name. Angie. Oh my god. Angie, you have a lot of new friends that would like to say hi. Oh my god. Though Snapchat could be mistaking the shelf behind her for a winking face and these two objects on the wall for eyes, Angie typically lurks around the corner of the house reserved for overnight visitors, coincidentally the same area where her dog Ollie absolutely refuses to go. Even with the promise of a treat, Ollie will only allow himself to go so far before he refuses to budge. Some dogs have trouble keeping their balance on hardwood floors and can actually develop a fear of them over time. I thought that could be Ollie's deal because he puts one paw on the wood and stops at 9 minutes and 8 seconds, but at 8 minutes and 52 seconds he has no problem walking on the same type of floor, so that can't be why. I think Morgan Adams could be giving a verbal command for Ollie to sit when she says okay at 9 minutes and 8 seconds. You tell me if Ollie is doing a trick or if he senses something and is too nervous to go forward. <gasps> come on. Okay. Come on. I don't think it's fake because then she tells him to come on and he still won't move. And when Morgan gets to the end of the hall, she hears a noise and shudders. <sighs> Plus, Ollie isn't the only animal acting weird. Her cat will freeze at the door like someone is on the other side and Morgan even hears knocking sometimes. Cut it out right now. Stop! There's never anything there and yet the cat stares at the wall as if something has its attention. Literally, I'm gonna freak out if you don't stop. Oh my god, oh my god, there's orbs, literally. An orb of light also flies in the direction that her cat is staring. Odd indeed. Oh, and there's also this strange Snapchat photo taken in the middle of the night. It could be something photoshopped, but I see something more to it. To the left of the shadow person, I see a face on the wall and another peeking out from behind the covers. It almost looks like the exact same from a photo taken at the mountain pass where Angie the spirit first followed Morgan home. And if you're wondering where Angie is in the photo, check out Morgan's shoulder. The dark hair is not hers. Finally, one night, her dad lets it slip that the property was built near an old burial ground. Tell me if you think he is telling the truth here or not. Do you think our house is haunted? Nope. The way he pauses and looks away makes me think he could have been trying to avoid saying anything that could make his daughter worry any more than she already has been. So is all of this real or fake? I'm 50-50 on this one, so your opinions will help me decide. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.